Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today at Titleist headquarters. I'm fortunate enough to be joined by Dan Stone, who's the Senior Vice President of Research and Development here. Dan, good to see you. Great to be here. Thanks for having us out today. We appreciate a it. Absolutely. Exciting times here at Titleist. A lot of smiles on the faces as we walk through the office. Yeah. I know you're excited. Yeah. The whole staff is excited about the new TS line of Metalwoods. Yeah. And in a lot of ways, we want to talk a little bit about the backstory here because this sort of represents a little bit maybe of a shift in philosophy for you guys. And you were kind of at the forefront of leading this charge. And the last couple of years, there's been a lot going on to really kind of reinvent your Metalwood presence. Yeah, I think, you know, we really went back to basics. We wanted to kind of go back and look at all the aspects of a driver that generate speed because obviously speed is an important factor. It's also about launch and spin, but speed is a very important pack factor in terms of generating the, the ball speed that we need to achieve distance for, for drivers. We kind of went back to basics, developed what we call a speed chassis, where every component of that chassis was designed with a specific goal of increasing speed. So uh, the two areas, one was how do we deliver the club faster? How can we get the, the delivery of the club faster to the to the ball. And then second was how do we generate a more efficient contact and energy transfer to generate ball speed once impact occurs. So it's getting to the ball and then getting through the ball. Those are really the two goals that we looked at in the science behind the speed project. And I imagine part of the, the challenge there is sort of marrying those two things together where maybe going too far in one aspect of that maybe would have adverse effect on another aspect. So it's kind of a give and take, I would guess, during the development. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, the head and shaft play an important role. Um, but we were able to, you know, do some really good things in the head to improve the stability of the head, improve the inertia. Um, and, I, and I would add, you know, Inertia isn't the only thing that makes a head perform well, but it is a key attribute. So with that forgiveness, um, we were able to do some things in the shaft and the configuration to generate more club head speed. So in terms of the process, you mentioned that you went through a lot of different prototyping. You know, you had to sort of see some failure to find the success. What, what was the, ended up maybe being the biggest challenge to sort of get this to a finished product that you were happy with? I think. I think the biggest challenge was um, we pursued multiple paths. Okay, this is an all titanium driver. We had paths that were not all titanium. We had composite, we had some different materials that we're considering. Um, but at the end of the day, we took some manufacturing um, advances in titanium that we've wor been working on and decided to go in that direction as opposed to composite direction. And I think that was, a, that, was, that was difficult and easy because when your team invests a lot of time and effort into technologies, and then you know, you have, at the end of the day, you have to kind of pick the technologies that are gonna best perform. So it became an easy decision for us at the end of the day because it was all about performance, but you know, a lot of people worked very hard on the composite and different material side of the house but we also had a group working on all tie and at the end of the day the all tie won out very very uh, easily yeah interesting and we're going to talk about the individual products in separate videos but off camera we talked about the fact the tour adoption out of the gates has yeah. been incredible but you told me what you're more excited about is your staff yeah. your sales staff has been blown away by what you've accomplished well in every product launch you can measure that you have a gauge of the energy level within the company. Um, and obviously tour has a big influence on that, but you know, we're fresh off our sales meeting. Um, we fit our sales guys. We, we flew the product to them after they were fit and got it to them and they were able to play golf two days later. They experienced it on the golf course. They are seeing real distance gains and really a big improvement over 917. So, you know, they're, they're essentially our gauge in terms of how confident are they when they go out on the road and they're able to talk about the technical aspects of this driver. But at the end of the day, their confidence comes from they have it, they're playing it, they're seeing some, some really cool results. So that's what's important. And for you, as your job is, you know, engineering these products, the enjoyment is unfortunately a little bit short-lived because you're already focused on 
new innovations and looking ahead and it's sort of a never ending yeah. process for you to just keep getting better and better. Well, we have a great team. We have a, an excellent team. I think one of the best teams in golf and, and our research and development team. Um, and we're constantly looking uh, at, at new ideas, new concepts. And as we talked earlier, the ability to fail, the ability to make prototypes that don't work. There is as much knowledge to be learned from that as there is uh, in terms of having the successes. You don't have those successes until you have, until you have failures. So yeah. um, we have a, through that process, we have a lot of knowledge uh, in our R&D uh, archives. Good stuff. We yeah. really appreciate the background on yeah. the Title of Speed project and look forward to talking more about it, the drivers in the fairways. Great. Thanks, Dan.